Hey folks, in this video I'm going to be testing out some CF Express memory cards that claim to be the fastest on the market from a brand you've probably never heard of. Next Storage. They're a Japanese company and apparently they're the top selling brand domestically and they're now branching out to Europe and America. I'm going to test them on some really fast moving sports and that not only are the B1 Pro CF Express cards faster than anything we've ever tested, they're also a little bit cheaper than their closest competitors, so it makes the decision really easy. Hi folks, greetings from Los Angeles. I'm over here doing some workshops and tutorials, been in New York filming with Steph. In this video, we're going to do a bunch of fun stuff, including shooting some portraits with Honey. She's gonna try skateboarding and we're gonna shoot some of the pros and amateurs that we can find both at Stoner Park and down at Venice Beach. Now you guys would know that I am a Nikon Z9 shooter. I also shoot with the Z6 and Z7, which both take advantage of CF Express Type B. It's by far the fastest, in my opinion, most reliable and best format on the market and opens up data transfers that nothing else is capable of. Even CF Express A, the things like the Sony A1 are using, are half the speed. Downsides are, there's not that many brands on the market, they're quite expensive, and like all cards, when they show you the speed on the box, that's often the maximum peak rate, not the actual sustained rate that you need to do things like really high bit rate video. This guy is capable of ProRes as well as 8.2K RAW, NRAW from Nikon's own format. So we're gonna shoot away and see what am I able to capture with this one? Am I able to shoot without buffering? and I'll share you my findings. For your information, they've sent me out three different cards to check out. Hey buddy, Stoner Park. They've sent me out three different cards, the 330 and 660 gigabyte pro cards and their 256 standard card. So let's see how they do. The whole episode is being photographed and filmed using those cards. Look, I'm no skateboard photography expert, but I really enjoyed it. I took the time to just observe and see who were the more experienced skaters there and to introduce myself and chat to the older people like the older brothers and family members who were there supporting the people who were practicing before going in to shoot them. But it wasn't long before I just couldn't help myself and I had to put myself in harm's way and try and get a more interesting angle down low as they went over the jump. I have to say my instinct of removing distortion from wide angle lenses and you know cleaning up the background, I had to fight it because shout out to my friend David Stewart who told me skateboarders actually prefer it with distortion and showing the jump that they're going over. I love it, we're just getting started here. Honey's uh, watching the camera for me whilst I get my bearings and I come back and she's like, I'm just going to Google how to play skateboarding and then she's chatting to the locals. What do you call that trick? A guy who just jumped over the ramp and did a kickflip in the air. So I'm going to try to learn how to do that one from Google. No. Now, jokes aside, she did fairly well. She did skate around for a little bit, but meeting up with her two weeks after filming this and she said her backside was still kind of hurting from that fall. No good. I went back down to get a few more runs as they went over the jump, including some at 120 frames per second that the Nikon allows. And as you saw in the intro, it just lets you basically make a stop motion video, but with high res JPEGs. All right, so we've come to Venice Beach now to shoot the skateboards and all of the fun and festivities that are on the beach. It's a pretty crazy part of town. You have to be aware of the etiquette, find out who kind of the bosses of the skate park are that day, make sure they're cool with you shooting and where they want you to be going and not going. Should be fun.
Now, I don't shoot everything at insane frames per second, but at times like this, where something's about to happen and you just won't have a second chance at it, I want to know that I can shoot and shoot and shoot and not have to deal with missed shots thanks to a buffer. This guy was not going to attempt this trick a second time, so to be ready and able to shoot the entire sequence as he did a jump over somebody's head, I just knew that I would be able to get the exact right frame. Okay, that was so cool, especially with the guy jumping over the other guy's head. For what I care about, I can tell you without a doubt, I was shooting non-stop, fast, 15, 20 frames a second. I tried all the different raw formats and I never had a buffer that I missed a shot. And I was able to quickly switch from stills to video to slow-mo video back to stills and not have to be waiting seconds locked out. So from a performance point of view, they just performed for me. Having said that, I know you guys want to know, do they do all of the video formats? So let's test each of those next with Honey. I can save some time here. The short answer is yes. We were able to film in every different format, including ProRes RAW and NRAW 8K in the hot sun. And there was no issue with recording limits, no issue with overheating, even though we were shooting outdoors at the beach. They all just worked flawlessly. Okay, so flashing forward a couple of weeks, I'm now back in Hong Kong and I've been shooting with the next storage cards pretty much non-stop for the past couple of weeks, both in my Z9 with the CF Express Type B and I got some of the SD cards as well. I've been using those in my Z7 Mark II. Over the past two weeks, we've filmed literally about 10 terabytes of data in 8K and ProRes for a new Shibari course that I have coming up and we've been filming on the next storage cards the whole time and maybe the highest praise I can give them is that we haven't once had a heated card warning or a overheating or a card failure or anything. Even when we're doing 8K and like one hour long clips and we're in rooms like now where you have to turn the air conditioning off so you're not getting background noise, they just work flawlessly. Now, as I promised you, I have gone ahead and done my side-by-side -side testing with the other cards that I've tested over the years. And I'm happy to say that not only are the B1 Pro CF Express cards faster than anything we've ever tested, they're also a little bit cheaper than their closest competitors. So it makes the decision really easy. I'll pop a link below where you can download the full uh, testing for yourself. But essentially the 660 card is the fastest. Lossless 20 frames a second, we got 86 frames off. In high efficiency was a huge leap over any of the competition, 1,383. I mean, that's essentially non-stop, right? How often would you ever shoot more than 1300 shots without taking a break? Going to high efficiency star at 15 frames a second or 12, you get unlimited, unlimited, unlimited. You just never hit the buffer. And the same for high efficiency non-star at 20 frames a second, also unlimited. The B1 Pro 330 was similar, but it got 85 lossless at 20 frames a second. 874 at high efficiency star, and then unlimited on the rest. And likewise, the SD cards we've been using do all of the best media video formats that the Z7 and Z6 II cameras offer. Again, no overheating, no issues at all. And it's allowed us to basically film back to back to back to back to back shoots, knowing that we have high capacity and high speed with these guys. So thank you to Next Storage for sending these cards out for me to test. A really nice surprise to find that they are the fastest I've ever tested and they're slightly cheaper than the next fastest on the market. So if you're looking for the fastest cards possible to keep up with whatever action you're shooting, check them out. I'll have a link below as well as a link to my new Shibari course. Let me know any questions you have. Make sure you've liked and subscribed and I'll see you soon.